time in Coopers. Last year you won a bronze medal in Prague at the European Indoor Sh uh, Ch Championships. For some people it was a surprise, for you maybe not? No, not really, because uh, the year before that, that was maybe a surprise. I came in fifth in the World Championship and I went with my PB from 47.99 to 47.5. 40 so actually running, I did a 147.2 in, uh, in the indoors in Prague. So that was not, not really a surprise for me, but uh, I think the strategy was a surprise for, uh, for a few uh, runners and a few people. So uh, maybe that was the big surprise and everybody's like, who's this guy? You saw some nice tweets from, from other athletes that you, you were the guy with balls. Yeah, it was Michael Rimmer. I saw a lot of uh, footballs, tennis balls and uh, stuff like that. Yeah, it's good to see that it's, uh, yeah, that they like my, my kind of racing. They, uh, I think they like it. I, uh, I don't leave it to the last sprint, just run the last meters in, in front, but just run a whole lot of meters in front and hopefully win. And well, it didn't work out like winning, but it felt like winning. You brought home a nice medal. Well, um, today it's a season's opener here in Düsseldorf. What were your expectations or your plan? Uh, yeah, that's actually funny because normally I have a tactical plan, but now I had to just race because uh, Eddie was like, uh, my coach said to me, we start this race without a plan, so you don't think about it, you're just going to run. And I tried doing that. Still, there was a, you always have like a little bit of a plan in your mind. But uh, after, he was like, after 400 meters, I, it felt really, really tough. And I think I was a little bit, yeah, I mean, in Dutch you say laugh. Yeah, so I didn't, uh, didn't run, run really hard uh, after four to six. And that's what I lost uh, a lot of meters. And uh, it's too bad that I, that I couldn't get my, myself mentally uh, the, the strength to run through that because the last 200 meters was really good for me again. And I just came short for third. So. I also saw in the start, um, it looked yeah, like in the first 100 meter you really had to work to, to get a good position, but then it looked like there was not enough speed yet. No, there wasn't. No, uh, I, I noticed that in, the, in training, I, I, I have, tra I have uh, the speed, but I have to really, really work to get the speed. So it costs a lot of effort to, and a lot of energy to, to run, uh, run, run fast. And that's where I, where I, th I think I lose. I, I can't run an easy 51 or something like that on the first 400. So that's where I lose a little bit. And maybe you choke up a little bit for after the first fast 400 meters and I have to recover a little bit. And you don't want to recover in 800 meters because that's really, really short. Well, with having a World Indoors this year, Olympic Games and the European Championships in your own country in Amsterdam, um, what will be the most important tournament for you? Yeah, uh, I think everybody would want me to say Olympic Games. And I think the uh, Dutchman going to be really happy if I say the European Championship. And it's, for me, it's a European Championship. So, so I want to get a medal there. And because that's, I've seen it in a few uh, other European Championships where the hometown, the home crowd goes really, really wild. Just because there's, a, there's a, someone of their country running. And I want to be, give the people the, the, the feeling when, when I got a medal, I want to share that with everybody. And, there's not much, and like Olympic Games is once in every four years, and a European Championship in your own country is probably once in a lifetime. Outdoors, uh, so because maybe indoors is going to be in 2019 in, uh, in Holland again, but uh, I want to get that feeling, so I'm going to go for that. And if I run good in the Europeans, I probably have run fast enough to go to the Olympics, so that would be an extra treat. Thank you very much. Good luck. Yeah, thank you.